High blood pressure is on the rise. Nearly one-third of Americans have it, even more in older individuals. And while medications and changes in diet and exercise works for many of us, there are nearly six million other Americans who just can't put the squeeze on their elevated pressure. Now there may be help and hope. The pressure is on Dr. Mark Dunlap to give us the lowdown on an exciting new treatment. Dr. Dunlap is the director of the heart failure section of the Heart and Vascular Center at Metro Health. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So before we get to the new treatment, which I definitely want to talk about, remind us why it's so important to lower our high blood pressure. Well, hypertension is a very common chronic condition uh, in this country and around the world, uh, particularly as people age, the majority of people who age uh, and uh, have high blood pressure in this country. And those patients who have high blood pressure, especially when it's uncontrolled, are at significantly increased risk for things like stroke, heart attack, heart failure, as well as advanced kidney disease. And some people are resistant to the medications that are out there. We have very good medications for the vast majority of patients uh, with high blood pressure. Uh, but the problem is, first of all, some patients aren't aware that they actually have hypertension because it's often a, a silent disease, they don't have symptoms. But then there, there are a significant number of patients who, despite treatment and despite lifestyle modifications, uh, dietary exercise modifications, as well as medications, they were still unable to control their, their high blood pressure adequately. And people who have blood pressure above, is it 160 over 90? Uh, even with the medications, that's really worrisome. So we define resistant hypertension, as you say, with a systolic or a top number of blood pressure of over 160 millimeters of mercury uh, and who are on at least three medications. And many of these medications, uh, many of these patients are on significantly more, up to five or six medications, but that top number is still uncontrolled. I want to get to this new treatment. So tell us about the, what's, there's something really exciting out there that people won't know about, but I want them to know. It, it really is. Uh, and uh, we, we think, we hope that this may be a game changer, but I want to emphasize that it still is in uh, clinical trials. It's not yet available uh, in this country for the treatment of hypertension. It's a procedure called renal denervation. And this procedure is, involves a catheter that's placed in the, uh, f through the femoral artery, that's uh, the artery in, in the groin, uh, up to the artery of the kidneys, in which the, the nerves that run along the wall of that artery are, are uh, deactivated uh, with the use of a specially controlled uh, current that goes uh, to the wall of the artery and abolishes the activity in these nerves. And this can bring down the blood pressure for people who haven't been able to bring it down through medication. At least that's the... That's, that's what the, the trial, that's what the study is, is, is all about. And the reason why this developed, we've known for actually decades that overactivity in these nerves called the sympathetic nerves is responsible for many patients being unable to be controlled under hypertension. This is a one-time procedure. It's not over and over again. Correct. And you said that it's not available in this country. First of all, this is being used in other countries, if I'm correct. It does have approval in the European Union, yes. And the second is that people can participate here, right here in Cleveland, if they participate in the study that's going on at Metro Health. Can you just tell us about that a bit? The general criteria are the patients need to be between 18 years old and 80 years old. They need to have this resistant hypertension, so that top number above 160, and they have to be on at least three medications and taking those three medications uh, at good doses. And if they are, they may very well be candidates for this uh, study. And there are still openings at Metro Health for this study right now? Yes. So at, if our viewers are interested, they should give a call to the number that we have. Absolutely. At least for the next few months, we'll still be enrolling patients in this clinical trial. Great. Thank you, Dr. Dunlap. Really very much appreciate that. Very well. All right, so if you have high blood pressure that's stubbornly refusing to go lower, this new treatment could literally be a lifesaver. It's exciting, and it's available right here in Northeast Ohio for free. For more information on the renal denervation trial, call Metro Health at 216-778-7373. This is a call that could save your life. My thanks to Dr. Dunlap for his low pressure but forceful presentation. For more information, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or visit www.metrohealth.org. Next, 
chapter and verse on connecting with Alzheimer's patients.